Welcome to Review Every Ship by CitizenCon 2024. Here we begin our series where we will update and rate every single ship and vehicle in the game. We can't do it alone. Comment down below what you think are the best and worst things about the ship we're reviewing. Add some helpful tips and share your rating from 1 to 10. 10 being the highest, of course. It's to give an update on every ship since some haven't had a video made about them in years. We'll go in depth, but we won't repeat everything on the RSI website. We will link to multiple sources of information, either in the description or in a pinned comment. We started our series with the Aegis manufacturer and we just reached the Aegis Gladius. The Gladius is a light fighter produced by Aegis, of course. Its first, its first design was introduced in 2579 as a replacement for the stiletto and has been updated over the years to keep up with modern technology in military circles the gladius is beloved for its performance and its simplicity a fast light fighter with a laser focus on dogfighting the gladius is an ideal interceptor or escort ship so the ship has a minimum and minimum crew and maximum crew of one it carries zero SCU. The ship has an SCM speed of 208 and a max speed of 1,236, making it one of the fastest ships in the game and one of the fastest light fighters in the game. The Gladius comes with four size three missile racks. The Gladius has three size three weapon hardpoints, a small radar, a small computer, a small power plant, two small coolers, two small shield generators, two small fuel intakes, two small fuel tanks, a small quantum drive, a small jump module, and a small quantum fuel tank. Meaning it, it really isn't meant to go planet to planet. It's more so keep it around the same planet. Maybe you can go to a moon, um, but it's not really meant to go planet to planet. It's really meant to just go out, fight, and come back to base. The, the double uh, shield generator uh, is really just showing you that it is meant for dogfighting. It has decent shields for a light fighter, but its uh, hull HP is one of the lowest in the game. And that's just to balance the ship out because it is one of the most maneuverable and fast light fighters in the game. So you can't be one of the most maneuverable and fastest and also have a huge hull hp because that would break the game so take that with a grain of salt this this ship is really for pilots it's it's a pilot ship it is not a sit and be shot at ship it is a move strike move strike ship for my opinion on the gladius it's nicely priced it's a ship that's based around maneuverability. So that means you're gonna to have to strike and then move. And that means you're gonna to have to be a good pilot. If you want to ride this ship, if you want this ship to be your main ship as far as combat, you're going to need to be a better pilot and you're gonna to need to keep being a better pilot constantly because people will buy bigger ships, they'll buy ships with better guns and they will come at you. This is a pilot ship. It is not for the lighthearted. If you don't want to put any actual effort into mastering the master modes or actually practicing with your ship, this ship is not for you. This ship is for people who really want to dogfight and who want a decent ship with great maneuverability and great speed. Kind of a first step towards a Vanguard Harbinger if you're looking for the VHRT, ERT uh, scenarios. Um, it's one of the fastest, it's one of the most maneuverable. Like I said, um, it has weak hull HP, but if you are a real pilot, you can do some major damage with the Gladius, major damage. It's great for starter to mid-level bounties, and it's really good for light fighter PVP. This is, this is one of the better light fighters in the game, if not the best. I mean, it was one of the first light fighters introduced in the game, one of the first ships introduced into the game. It really is a great choice for anybody who's just starting out getting into combat space and they really want to fight as a real dog fighter not just you know kind of stand and shoot or do the traditional jousting it's a dog fighter you got to move and you got to fight so time to give this ship a rating i rate from one to ten but my one is a little different my one is only buy if you have a unique reason that is specific to you or for looks 
and my 10 is if you have the money this ship is almost guaranteed to be useful to you in the game excellence achieved all right so it's not a one mean meaning that the ship is just useless and nobody should ever buy it it just means you need a unique reason or a specific reason to you in order to buy it uh, and my 10 doesn't mean it's a perfect ship it just means you will definitely find a use for it um, and I would say it's just excellence as far as its design and more not just its design so that's my rating system again my ones are not terrible and my tens are not perfect thanks and this ship honestly i give it a nine it's nicely priced it's if you like dog fighting you won't find many better ships for dog fighting um it's it's up there with one of the best ships in the game um now i generally don't give uh ships that are fighters rate scores um, because I do think that fighters are a little bit over sourced in the game as in there's too many of them. Um, however, the Gladius is a great ship. Anybody who picks up a Gladius, you should walk away a happy customer.